and welcome to this edition of Communication Matters. I'm your host, John Batasso, and with me is Danny Bobro, Executive Director of Climb for a Cause. Danny's with us today to share with us why it is important to have a full bucket list. Welcome, Danny. Thank you, John. Glad to be here. Danny, I think we all know what a bucket list is, but can you tell us what it means to you? Sure. And just to be sure that everybody does know and we agree on, on the definition, a bucket list is a collection, it can actually be a, a list of one, but it's in a collection of experiences or goals you have that you would like to achieve in, in your life. In other words, before you kick the bucket, which is where the name derives. Why is it then worth having a bucket list? I think it's important because it gives focus and direction. It, makes, it reminds people that our time on Earth is finite, and therefore if we want to achieve these, these goals for ourselves, we better have a plan to do them, and a time frame as well. That's very important. Given that, how does one prioritize items on your bucket list? Well, I think it's a good question, John. Uh, priorities mean different things to different people, and it sort of depends on what's on your list. For some people, the items on the bucket list might be completely independent of one another. You may want to, before you die, get to the Louvre in Paris. You may want to make sure that you're healthy and live long enough to witness your granddaughter's wedding, for instance. Or, as is more characteristic of my bucket list, achieve a series of increasingly challenging summits or endurance events. In that case, and what worked for me was to begin realistic and attainable. My first mountain I ever climbed was Mount Rainier, which is a formidable challenge, but in the scheme of things, it doesn't require anywhere near the logistical preparation, the finances, the, the time away from work as, for example, a, a summit attempt at Mount Everest would be. And at the same time, when I was able to successfully summit Mount Rainier, it gave me the confidence as well as the skill set to know that I could now set my sights just a little bit higher and, and, and plan for that next event. So in general, you want to set yourself for success. And I think that's why prioritizing your bucket list is such a good idea. Start with things that are attainable, that will help overcome inertia, help generate some momentum, some confidence, and, and, and increasing skill sets so that you can then move on to the next challenge. That's very important. Can you share an item from your bucket list, maybe a past or a present item, and, and how it impacted you? Well, sure. In addition to the Mount Rainier event, and in fact, Mount Everest is a goal on my bucket list still, the most recent one that I was able to check off my list was a successful traverse of the Grand Canyon, what's called R3, which is short for rim to rim to rim. We began on the south rim of the Grand Canyon, traversed to the North Rim and then came back again in one day. I think what works for me is the idea of visualization. While I'm training for the event or preparing for the event, I, I like to begin with the end in mind, which is in my mind I've already accomplished my goal and then I just sort of back into it. How did I get there? What was necessary to achieve it? And even what sorts of challenges uh, will I expect to encounter along the way. In athletic events, endurance events, there's a phenomenon called, by many, uh, the wheels coming off, which is inevitable, it's going to happen. And in fact, it happened on this event. We, I had an issue with my partner not hydrating sufficiently, which uh, led to a, a far longer event than it really needed or probably should have been. But we had planned ahead, and when this happened, it was almost like, oh, there it is, there's the challenge, there's the wheels coming off. So now I'm sort of ready to deal with it because it wasn't like getting blindsided. So I think this visualization of training, maybe I'm unusual in this regard, John, but I don't need distraction when I'm doing my hiking. I mean, first of all, I like to hike, but when I'm preparing for an event, I'm actually visualizing the event. I'm making it as tangible as I possibly can and that's my entertainment. It really kind of excites me, motivates me, and keeps me focused. So that's an example of a recent one that uh, I'm happy to say is now 
checked off the list. Sounds like you get a real high from completing items off of your bucket list. How long does that continue throughout the, after the event? Now, that's a great point and a great question. It is very gratifying. The other high that I get is when, and you may want to consider this yourselves too, as part of your bucket list planning, is to try to plan experiences that you're going to share with other people. When you do that, you'll find that the, the relationship grows and, and deepens, which is a wonderful thing. My friend and I who participated in this event together, the Grand Canyon Traverse, have been communicating about it and commiserating a little bit. But the other funny thing you'll find is that any pain and discomfort tends to fade. And all you're left with are the positive experiences, which is why, why I like to say, forget the pain, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's usually what happens. So now we're planning for, uh, I hope, a, uh, an attempt to scale El Capitan in Yosemite later next year. So we've got some confidence, and if it happens next year, great. If it happens in three years, that's okay, too. That's wonderful. Great stepping stones. Right. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience? Well, just in summary, I, I, I highly encourage all of you not just to have a wish list, but to have a bucket list. The difference being that a bucket list is tangible. It has a, an ideal time frame. Again, recognizing that you may not hit that time frame, but it doesn't mean you failed. And the final point I would make is that even if you don't achieve the exact item, every item on your bucket list, the, the, the process of preparation will enrich your life. And that really it's the process more than the destination that makes a bucket list worth having in the first place. Danny, thank you so much for your insights. Oh, pleasure. And your encouragement and you know, helping us to commit to creating a healthy bucket list. Something well, I, I look forward it. to doing as well. Oh, good. I'm thank your you. host, John Batasso. Hope you enjoyed this, this episode of Communication Matters. Thank you.